OK, so we're back to put some detail in. Uh, as I said earlier, um, the closer you do this to the mesh, uh, the harder it's going to be to get in. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is just add some um, just add some um, depth to this just to bring it away a little bit. Okay. Now, where you add the depth is uh, largely up to you. Obviously, we don't want to put a huge amount of depth in it. Perhaps we want a different tool, actually. So we don't want that too exaggerated. I'm just going to basically draw around the body kind of the edges of what I'm going to do. There we go. That's a bit low, uh, I think. <laughs> so I'll just get rid of that. Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Right, and then I can do the same uh, around the waist. Oops. There we go. So, to bring a bit of subtlety here, I'm going to use the fill tool to take those edges away on the inside, not the outside, just the inside. And I'm going to go around the inside with the fill tool just to smooth it out nicely. So you can just see, you know, that there's a bit of a bulge there, and that will help us, um, you know, keep it away from the original and uh, fit it a little bit easier a bit later on. Now, how you know far you go into making this um, sharp and as neat as possible is up to you. Uh, but you could use pinch, for example, to just go around and define that line a little bit. Um, but you know we have control over that when we use the retopology tool, so I'm not going to do too much. So that's kind of defined a uh, general kind of shape. Uh, I'm just going to go in and do a bit of filler in there. There we go. Right. So I'm just going to turn symmetry off for a second. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put a lace across the back. Just a straight kind of uh, thing. And now the brush you choose for this is uh, yeah, largely a matter of choice. Uh, I'm going to use sphere to start with. To scale it down to how I want it. And then draw it over. There we go. So that's just a bit rough, but that's all right. Okay. So what you could also do here, though I do honestly believe that this is much better done uh, as a displacement, is use an alpha brush to put a detail onto the uh, mesh itself. Whoops. That's really not what I wanted to do. So if we go to airbrush, drag that out. So she's got a big drag around her. Now to make that really work in a mesh, that's going to have to be horrendously 
detailed uh, to accommodate the, um, the detail in the brush. So that, honestly, I would do with a displacement. Um, we could put buttons on it. Again, I think that's probably better with the displacement. Uh, we can paint it at the same time with the displacement, so that would be handy. Um, yeah, it's a question of uh, yeah, just a bit of judgement on what you're doing. So once you've got it roughly as you want it, and this is really roughly as you want it, I'm not going into huge detail, uh, I'm going to go into topo mode, and when we're in there we'll retopologize this mesh that we've uh, roughed out, and then we'll do the export, rescale it, get it into poser, see what it looks like, uh, but that'll be the next video.